With that down, let's get into main topic number one. And our first main topic today gets submitted to us by Zach B., who writes, <clears throat> According to Deadline, MGM just announced a new movie adaptation of the beloved musical Fiddler on the Roof directed by the Hamilton director. That's Thomas Kale. Um, I love the musical and all, but another movie adaptation? <laughs> what else is there to do? All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And yes, one of the most beloved stage productions and by the way, award laden original movie as well that came out in the 70s, I believe, um, Fiddler on the Roof. So you got Thomas Kale, who's coming along now. He directed the stage, Broadway stage and off-Broadway, and the movie version that's going to be coming to Disney+. Plus. Anyway, this is what comes to us from Variety. Thomas Kale directed the off-Broadway and Broadway productions of In the Heights and Hamilton, winning the Tony Award for Best Direction of a Musical for Hamilton. He directed and produced the live capture film of Hamilton that will be released on Disney+, Plus this July. All right, so listen, I got to tell you right now, I have I have always loved Fiddler on the Roof. I've always loved it. If I were a rich man. I mean, I, I, I there's something about it. For I can't remember the circumstances, but my parents exposed me to Fiddler on the Roof when I was younger. And for some whatever reason, I always found it fascinating. I find that it's a story that transcends generations. You can tell. I mean, it doesn't matter. Any year I go back and watch a Fiddler on the Roof, whether it's on a stage production on TV or whether it's the one of the movie versions, whatever, uh, I've always quite enjoyed it. And to get a guy like Thomas Kale, who clearly knows how to, number one, do a stage musical, and number two, now has some experience with transferring that sort of um, uh, material onto a screen, it just seems like a perfect fit for me on this. So personally, I really like this news. I think this sounds really fun. Rob, you hear about this. What do you make of them doing another motion picture version, and particularly the guy they're bringing in to direct it, A Fiddler on the Roof? Well, like you, I grew up with Fiddler on the Roof, and I, I've always, you know, I've always loved it. I think, you know, I always call you a song and dance man, but at heart, I wanted to be one too. So I, <laughs> I loved, I, I've, you know, I love musicals, and 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 it, it, it's got great songs, and I just, and the, the story is great too. I, I just, uh, who are they going to get to play? You know, it's Fiddler on the Roof to me is, it's Topol. Topol is, he's the main character. It'll, it, it's, I, I wonder who they're going to cast. It makes me want to know who they're going to cast in the lead. I mean, uh, yeah. And, uh, but, but, I mean, it looks, a lot of the songs, you know, like tradition, tradition. I mean, right, right. it's steeped in culture and all this yeah. kind of stuff. I just think it's a fun, fun show. I love the news. I'll be honest with you. I love the news. Hearing that they're going to do a movie, ver another movie version of this. Because I think the previous incarnation, I think it was 78, 79, 80, 76. Anyway, right around there. It won like three Academy Awards. Yeah. I mean, it's so it was done really well. I think this is something that could stand to be done again and revisited every couple of decades. I, I think it's a perfect thing to do. Question here is, guys, maybe a lot of you have probably never even seen Fiddler on the Roof. Hell, maybe there's some of you who've never even heard of Fiddler on the Roof. You should. You know, like, give yourself give yourself a treat and go and check out the original 